Hey again everyone, it's Ian and I'm back and this time with an Audi TT Mark II fix for the Mechatronics. So what we're going to be looking at now is a bad Mechatronic in this first half and then a good one after I've gone and swapped it out. So as I'm jumping into the car, just pay close attention to the engine and how it rocks backwards and forwards. So just listen for when I'm engaging different gears by the different clicks. So it doesn't look too bad, but this is pretty severe and it does get worse and worse as I continue to test the different gear engagements from drive and reverse, as you can see here. Okay, so that one was pretty bad. You could see how much the engine was bucking, but look at these ones that are coming up. Enough of that now. So you can see how bad it was. And so I decided to go ahead and change the mechatronics. So at the same time, I also did a filter and oil change as well, just to make the most of the situation. I also had to do a basic settings on the mechatronics as well. So all of it was pretty much going to be, I guess, refreshed um, with all the oil and the filter being changed out and a uh, good Norman running mechatronics being put in. While the gear changes aren't completely smooth and that jerkiness is completely ameliorated, you can see that going into reverse, the mechatronics is much less fussy and it takes faster time to engage. Nice and quick video today, everyone. Hope that helps you to identify whether or not you've got DSG or mechatronic issues. Remember, if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. Click that notification bell to get the notification of my next videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.